jumping up. Most dogs jump up because their behaviour has been reinforced. Many owners don't realise they are reinforcing their dog. Touching, pushing your dog away, talking, smiling, cuddling, picking up, etc. can all be reinforcing to your dog and increase the likelihood that your dog will jump up. Your dog won't grow out of jumping up, they only grow into behaviours that they are allowed to keep practising. There are a few methods we can use to help teach your dog what you want them to do instead. The first method is to encourage your dog to keep all four feet on the floor. We can do this by placing food treats on the floor by your dog's feet to encourage a lower head position and reward your dog for keeping all his feet on the floor. You must put the treats onto the floor before your dog starts to jump and it is important to keep adding value to the floor throughout the greeting, especially in the early stages of your dog learning this. If you try to reduce the treats too early, then your dog will quickly revert back to jumping up. It can take many thousands of positive repetitions to turn a new behaviour into a habit. Over time, you will be able to reinforce your dog less frequently with food and use verbal praise instead. Your dog will learn that if he keeps all four feet on the floor, then he will get lots of attention. The second method is an extension of the first. This time we are going to teach your dog not to jump up in the face of high arousal and excitement. Many dogs will jump up at their owners when they are called to come to them. To practice this, call your dog to you and then place treats by your feet as your dog reaches you and before he starts to jump. Before your dog finishes the treats, run away and call your dog to you again. Again place treats on the floor by your feet as your dog reaches you. This will encourage your dog to slow down and to keep his head low when recalling so that he doesn't jump up or launch himself up at you. The third method is to proof your dog to the excitement associated with saying hello to someone and to teach your dog that even if they think someone is inviting them to jump that they must still keep all four feet on the floor. To start, calmly tap your legs as though an invitation and then quickly reward your dog before he starts to jump. If your dog starts to jump, then you need to reduce the level of excitement and try again. Practice different variations such as tapping your legs, clapping your hands, saying hello, etc. Rewarding your dog each time that he does not jump. Gradually build up the level of excitement and duration of excitement before rewarding your dog. The fourth method is to teach your dog that no greeting will happen until he greets politely. To practice this, have your dog on a lead and let him approach your visitor. Let your visitor say hello as normal. If your dog jumps up, gently but quickly pull your dog away and then try again. Keep repeating until your dog greets the visitor without jumping. Your dog will learn very quickly that in order to get attention, he must keep all four feet on the floor. You may need to repeat this a dozen times or so. Be consistent. If you find this is not working, you can remove your dog to a quiet room on his own for 30 seconds each time you need to pull him away to help reduce excitement and aid in calming. You must remove your dog immediately and in under half a second. If you let your dog be reinforced for jumping for too long, then this will not work.